there, this is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the brand new AKA drop that's live right now in-game. Also, we have two bonus LTDs from the Campus Heroes promo, but before we go over today's new content, let's take a look at the content schedule for this week. And once again, we are loaded with a lot of drops coming throughout the week. Now, we're only going to see one GMM show on September 4th, which is Wednesday, so 10 30 a.m. Eastern Time, normal schedule time. Also, the first MCS event is taking place this week on September 4th, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. You're going to want to tune into that because you can earn a free 83 overall Garrett Wilson. We'll have a video very soon going over how to set up your Twitch drops so you're all ready for September 4th and the rest of the year because you're going to be able to earn free packs and cards all year if you have Twitch drops set up. Today, we got AKAs and Campus Hero LTD. Season 2 is going live tomorrow. We did drop a video earlier this morning going over everything that you need to make sure you have done and what you need to be doing today before Season Season 1 ends and Season 2 goes live, so check out that video. Preseason Team of the Week more than likely going to be dropping on Wednesday, and I'm sure we'll get the full reveals for that content on that September 4th GMM show at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Game Time release number one. We've seen a lot of leaks for this promo. It looks like this is the new kickoff promo. There's LTDs. There's free cards. We got 87 overall champions. We've talked about this in a handful of videos over the last two days or so. So big promo coming on Thursday, and then, of course, on on Saturday, we have our normal legends. And remember, Monday through Friday, content 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Content on Saturdays, which is going to be the legends, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. All right, let's go ahead and talk about today's drop. So we got new AKA cards, two set cards, and one LTD. That's going to give us brand new solo challenges to play through. If you take a look at the solos every week that we get these, there's going to be different sequences or solos that feature the brand new players. Today, we got Paul Kraus and Marshawn Lynch, the Beast Mode, 24 stars worth of solos. You play those solos along with weeks one and two. You're going to earn the milestone rewards. All of the rewards are going to be tokens, and the tokens can be traded in for a free non lt LTD, aka of your choice. I am not sure if there's enough tokens out already for you guys who are no money spent to redeem one for free. I don't believe so, but I do feel like we're going to be there pretty quick because they're giving out a lot of tokens uh, early on with these solo challenges. So go play through those, stay up to date so you're not falling too far behind on them. Uh, also, there is a field pass. It came out last week, very small. I wouldn't go out there and specifically spend coins to get this one done because the end of the field pass reward is just simply not worth it. You get some small coin amounts. I think the more important reward in here will be those AKA tokens that you earn at, earn at level 2, 4, and 6. Level 7 gives you an 82 overall B&D fantasy pack. And the only way to max this field pass out is completing a hero and a champion set three sets in total so again you don't want to go out and spend the coin purposely to complete a champion set unless you actually want the card um you don't want to do this just to complete the field pass so i'm probably going to complete a set today i'll probably get pretty close to completing the field pass but i'm only doing it because i want the card not just because of the field pass so please don't make that mistake as we mentioned during the solo challenges section the two set cards for today are going to be paul kraus and Marshawn Lynch, their set requirements are going to be the same as last week. Any four 83 overall AKA cards and then one player specific 83. You can see I have four fifths of what I need to get this Paul Krause set done. All I got to do is get his 83 now and the set is done. And if you happen to have a bunch of 83s like I do, I'm not saying they're going to tank down in price, but they are going to lose value for next week because by next week, we will likely be seeing 87 overall champions and 88 overall LTDs from the AKA promo when season two goes live, we're gonna see a overall increase. And then the game time promo coming out on Thursday will follow that. Team of the week will likely will on Wednesday. So if you got a bunch of 83s, Today, you might want to sell them or use them in one of these sets. Same thing goes for the 83 overall Legend cards because when Legends come out on Saturday, they're going to take place or they're going to see that same overall increase that we're going to see with pretty much all of the programs there. So the cards that go into the sets are going to start to lose a little bit of value. So those are the two set cards. We got three LTDs in packs. We got one from the AKA drop, Big Play Slay. You already know I'm picking up this card. 87 overall cornerback, Eagles Legend, 87 speed, 87 zone, 84 four man coverage 88 agility acceleration is really good but i'm gonna pump the brake on like specifically going out there and trying to buy this card day one because i know it's going to be fairly expensive and with season two right around the corner 
not saying the market's going to tank or crash on this card, but there's a good chance, you know, after maybe a week, this card will be cheaper or less expensive uh, than it will be today. We got Nate Wiggins coming out. I finally said his name correctly in a video. Uh, he's getting an LTD on Thursday from the leaks that we saw. That's another cornerback, and he's likely going to be faster than Slay, so that might drop his price. Remember, with the vintage cards, or yeah, vintage cards, they get uh, they get discounted X factors that stay on for four plays. They go away for eight plays and come back for four. Um, so he gets some, some solid options there. No just standard pick artists that's going to stay you know, on for the whole game, though, as an ability, unfortunately. We're going to start to see the good abilities, I think, once we get up to 89 overall uh, LTDs and, and champions. Now, along with that LTD big play slay, we do also have two Campus Heroes LTDs. One of them kind of leaked in-game early, and it was on EA's. Uh, they messed it up. Uh, it's going to be Justin Simmons. So we got him as a strong safety here, 6'2", 86 speed 80 man 88 zone 78 hit power i think most people are probably going to still be out there with cam chancellor just because maybe not i don't know simmons looks solid though uh, i may give him a try just kind of depending on price and then we have keon coleman on the offensive side of the ball here 86 speed receiver six foot three route running is really good the catch at 91 on an 87 overall card is really good as well his route running hits all the thresholds so he's not as fast as you know like the top tier receivers in the game but i still think he is very very good and it's so easy to build a theme team these days it won't be that difficult to get him up to 87 speed so those are going to be all of the cards two set cards three LTDs and packs. As far as your token redemption set for the AKA program, I have 26 of 30 right now. I have bought some of the pack offers that give out tokens. So again, I don't think you can get to the full 30 if you're no money spent. But even if you can today, because we know an overall increase is coming next week, I wouldn't be using my tokens right now. Marshawn Lynch is solid, but he's not you know, the best running back in the game. Paul Krause is definitely one of the better defenders in the game there. But I just think because we're right around the corner from an overall increase, have some patience here. Don't use those tokens. Try to save them for next week or the future after that. Now, as far as your pack offers, go handful of things to talk about today's one coin offer is a 79 overall platinum card easy coin there make sure you open it up it'll also knock out your daily objective for opening up a pack for the day and i think these quick sell for 9,000 coins if i remember correctly so that means you got 800 900 or 8,999 coins for free by opening up that pack just as simple as that the two $25 offers, so one in relation to the Campus Hero LTDs, one for the AKA cards. The AKA Platinum Pack is going to give you three 79 plus AKA players, 183 plus, and then 580 plus overall Platinum players. The odds on these don't look the greatest for the Platinum cards. You have basically a less than a 10% chance at an 83 plus there. The 83 plus AKA players left less than a 5% chance. So if you're going after LTDs or full cards, from this one can you get one out of this yes but the percentages are extremely low uh same thing for the 79 plus i mean it's actually a little bit more a little higher in the percentage but if you're opening this one up you're probably going to want to do it just because you know you can get some coins back while taking a shot at some higher overall cards when it comes to the ltd opportunity pack 183 plus campus hero player and then 180 plus player or an 87 overall ltd so when it comes to the odds here you got a 39 percent chance at an LTD, that's actually not too bad. We've seen a couple offers with 52% chances. This one decent. I don't think the drops for today, especially the AKA content, uh, is worth justifying a $100 bundle here. So I would stay far, far away from this one. And you guys normally know my motto with packs, right? Coin packs are pretty bad. And I still am kind of hesitant to even say open these up. 72,000 coins for an AKA pack. You get 179 plus and then 274 plus players. 27% at, uh, chance at an 85 plus is either, I don't know. I don't know if that's wrong or a mistake or a glitch or they're just letting it rock like that. So if you want to open up a couple and see if you get lucky with them, today might not be a bad opportunity to do so. I'll open up one before we get out of here again. I normally do not recommend spending your coins on packs. 
I have 4.4, almost 4.5 million coins to go through, so I'm willing to kind of risk it or YOLO it. If you have anything under a million coins, you definitely do not want to be doing this. I'll open up one more just to kind of test the waters and see if we actually get lucky. I don't know if it's a visual glitch. Yeah, I got 279s back to back, so I'm cool on those. I'm sure the next pack's going to have Darius Slay in there or something, but I've learned my lesson. That was 140k for 279, so I kind of take back my advice. Stay away from those packs. The odds do look a little bit inflated. Maybe it's a visual glitch. I have no idea, but I did figure it's worth pointing out. As far as the $25 offers, if you had to open up one or the other, if you're going after the LTDs, this is the move. If you want coins, this is the move, but uh, neither of them are like super you must-haves, and again, Season 2 is tomorrow, Game Time promo, Team of the Week, Legends, everything's going up and overall. Don't feel the need to spend your coins or your money today because a lot of good content's on the way and it should drop the prices of the content that's out right now. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.